Our developing story tonight, a possible end in sight for Illinois' indoor mask mandate. Governor Pritzker unveiled a plan today to phase out the indoor mask mandate by February 28th. The exception being schools due to the ongoing lawsuit with 140 districts across the state. The masking policy has been in effect for nearly six months now, while facing pushback as Illinois' COVID cases and hospitalizations continue a downward trend. The heightened emergency of Omicron has been consistently subsiding. We are now seeing the fastest rate of decline in our COVID-19 hospitalization metrics since the pandemic began. The governor acknowledging the declining rate of both cases and hospitalizations today, noting daily cases went from 7,300 to 2,500. That's a 66% drop. The number of those needing ICU care has also dropped to 63%. While the rate of hospitalizations is down, Pritzker says the state's hospital bed availability is increasing. We now have 20% of our ICU beds available statewide, up from a low of just under 8% only four weeks ago. As of last week, locally, there were only 107 patients in hospitals getting treated for COVID-19. As mentioned, despite the mask mandate scheduled to end on February 28th, it won't apply to schools. The governor says schools need a little more time for community infection rates to drop and for more children to get vaccinated. The governor says schools remaining open is his top priority. I, and I would like very much for it to be removed as soon as humanly possible. And I've told you that and you've seen that we're making progress in that direction. But the truth is that we need to follow the advice of doctors, epidemiologists who understand this uh, well, and uh, nobody has wanted to wear masks all the way along. Illinois will continue to require masks in certain settings. Healthcare settings are still requiring mask usage, as well as places where people congregate, like shelters. Also, face coverings are required in all federal buildings and on public transportation. Daycares are being advised to follow the guidelines released by the Department of Children and Family Services.